So first of all, we should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python. And then in this page, you should click on Downloads. So click on this. And a page like this will be open. So scroll down. So now we can see by the time of recording, the latest version is Python 3.11.1. So click on this. So here I should scroll down and you can see these are the installation files. So I'm on Windows and I have a 64-bit Windows, so I should download this file. So you can see here's the file which I have downloaded. So I right click on it and I should click on run as administrator. So there it is. And here remember to check this one at python.exe to path. So check this one. And here click on customize installation. And in this window, press next. And as you can see in this step, we should specify the install location, which is a very, very important step. And you need to know the install location of Python because there is going to be a file which is called Python interpreter in this location, which that file is very important. So now suppose that I want to install my Python in this folder. So as you can see, I've created a folder called Python 3.11.1, and I want to install my Python in this folder. So I right click and copy this path. And here I delete this and I paste my folder, my installation folder, and I press install and I should wait for the installation process. So as you can see, it's creating some files and folders, and one of those files which is very important is this python.exe, which is the Python interpreter, and you should know the location of this file, I mean this Python interpreter, so remember that this file is a very, very important file. And for example, if you want to install IDEs like PyCharm and etc., you need to know the location of this Python interpreter. So the install location of Python is important because the location of this interpreter is important. So you can see the setup was successful, so I press close. And now after installing the Python in the search of Windows, I should simply search for IDLE. And because we have installed Python 3.11, so you should click on this IDLE, Python 3.11, so click on it. And this environment is called Shell, which you can start coding, for example, 2 plus 5, or for example, you can print Hello World. There it is. And now in order to create a Python file, first of all, you should click on this file, and then New File. And here you should start coding. So for example, suppose that I want to print hello world. There it is. And for example, I want to save this file. So I click on file and save. And for example, I want to save my Python file in this path. And let's choose a name, for example, code 01. And I press save. And you can see this is the path of my file. And this is the name of my file. So I click on run and run module. So there it is, you can see here's the output. And also if I press Windows and R key on my keyboard, and here if I type CMD, means command window, and if I press OK, you can see a black window like this will be opened. So now here if I simply type Python space dash dash version, and if I press enter, you can see this is the version of Python which we have installed. And here, if I simply type Python and if I press enter, you can see it is similar to the shell environment and I can start coding here as well. So for example, two plus eight, you can see this is the result and let's print hello world. There it is, you can see here is the output. So here we can see a side by side comparison of PyCharm and Python IDLE. And as you can see, the auto completion and suggestions of IDLE is very bad, but the suggestions and auto completion of PyCharm it's very good. And to my opinion, PyCharm is one of the best IDEs for Python programming language, which is my favorite. So if you want to install that correctly, you can watch this video, which is on the screen now.